hey there welcome or welcome back to my channel happy new year i hope this video finds you doing well living swell i am your girl megan and this is the astro queen where we use information from celestial bodies to help us gain a better understanding of our favorite celebrity world events but most importantly our damn selves so come on in subscribe first okay and then have a seat and enjoy so today i'm coming to y'all with another revisited celebrity natal chart reading this time on DJ Academics. Now, DJ Academics, for those of y'all who do not know, is a hip-hop blogger extraordinaire. He pioneered his own lane of independent hip-hop media in the early 2010s, but he's also been no stranger to controversy, whether it's fighting with women, arguing with rappers from his home, he tends to have a lot of takes that piss people off. He's also aligned himself with the Red Pill podcasters like Fresh and Fart. Okay. And so he is a person who naturally is going to invoke a lot of traction from the internet. Okay. He's been put on blast for arguing with women. He's attacked verbally uh women in the public like Erica Badu, Young Miami, and then even more recently got into <laughs> some type of tiff with Sauce Saucy Santana. So this is just to put things into perspective on who we're dealing with, okay? And I think Saucy Santana had DJ Academics crying, all right? But that's a whole nother situation for another day. Y'all go check out that T if you want to, or drop it down in the comment section below. What I came here to do today is to address primarily what he's in the media for most recently. So it went viral that a woman alleged to be R word at his home. Um, DJ Academics is saying that the woman was G'd, if you know what I'm talking about, by his friends while he was sleeping and he had nothing to do with it. The woman, on the other hand, is saying that he was in on it. No legal charges have come about, I don't think. Um, but that's just what's going on right now. His reputation, not looking too hot. Uh, and I want to take a look at his natal chart to see if we can find any indicators anything that could suggest him experiencing what he is experiencing at the moment and to see what indicators in his chart just help support what we know of him okay because we live out act out our natal charts on a day-to-day -day basis so without further ado let's go ahead and get started dj academics was born on may 17th 1991 in spanish town jamaica and hook line sinker First thing that stands out is the fact that he has his south node in Cancer conjoined to his moon in Cancer along with his Chiron in Cancer and then that Mars in Cancer. He has a Cancer stellium. And in astrology, when we talk about the south node and its importance, a lot of times the south node holds clues to our past life or past lives, depending on if you believe in that thing or how you want to look at it, it also could deal with our early life programming and point to where we've formed a lot of unhealthy attachments. And so with DJ Academics having such a strong stellium in conjunction to this cancer south node points directly to the source of the problem. The man has karmic past life even early life issues with women and to be a little bit more particular with his moon conjoined to Chiron uh, there could have been situations where growing up he could have had a very dysfunctional relationship with women this could describe a person who may have been hurt by women you also have to keep in mind that Chiron does deal with trauma all right. It's referred to as the wounded healer in astrology. This can manifest physically. It can manifest emotionally. And it's also important to keep in mind that cancer with DJ academics having moon, Chiron, Mars and cancer. He even has Venus in cancer as well. 
uh, cancer rules the subconscious. So a lot of times these are issues or grievances when we talk about moon conjoining the chiron and cancer that the chart holder may not even be aware that they have, not consciously. So things, you know, grudges from the past. Cancer also rules the past. That's because of its opposition to Capricorn, which deals with time. You know, these are people where if they have uh, experienced any kind of dysfunction or disturbances, hence that Chiron in its conjunction to the moon, they are going to keep that with them. It could be a lot harder for these people to overcome the conditioning or the programming of their youth or of things that happened during childhood or while they were growing up. There's a disturbance in the force field here. And because cancer is one of those signs that directly correlates with women, once again, it's safe to assert that these issues that academic has with women stem from him having, if you want to say, a wounded feminine energy himself, you know, not to be all spiritual or high and mighty with this, you know, verbiage, but that's what it is. That's that's also what it can translate into. And a person who tends to hurt women in the same way that they were hurt. Specifically, when we get into the fact that he has his moon and he has his Venus opposing both Neptune and Uranus and Capricorn, okay? He has that Nep Neptune-Uranus uh, conjunction in Capricorn and the opposition that it forms to his moon and Venus, which are the primary planets that deal with a man's relationship with women, could suggest that he's over time developed or grown this kind of mentality towards women that could be very cold, hence uh, Uranus and Capricorn, or um, even very objectifying, right? You see moon in opposition to Uranus in the charts of a lot of men who can be very disrespectful and rude towards women. And it's important to understand that when we examine Uranus and Capricorn, Capricorn is the sign of punishment. So with this opposition between Uranus and his moon, it's almost like as he's gotten older, hence that Capricorn North Node, uh, as he's grown into success, hence that Capricorn North Node, his relationship with women, that estrangement that he has there has probably been magnified. So you can look at this as the telltale case of a man who is operating off of some sort of insecurity or whatever the case may be, he gets the success to be able to afford the type of woman that he wants, right? But essentially, you know, it's like these are men who take out their experiences that they've had on women with the women who meet them later on in life and where he can leverage a lot of his power and a lot of his capital in order to do so and project those things onto women. And I mean, to be fair too, he may also attract women who are, who not, are, they're not into him like that. You know, moon and Venus in opposition to Uranus, especially in Capricorn, could spell out women who are just interested in him for a payout, a quick paycheck, a quick payday, um, or mooching off of him. And no offense, I mean, look at him. He, he's, he's not... He's not giving King Von aesthetics. He's not giving fine man, fine man aesthetics. So I can imagine, once again, as, as a man, as a, as a younger person, having issues with women, maybe being seen by women or feeling like even your manhood is under attack by women, hence his Mars and Cancer. A lot of Cancer Mars men lash out on women and have a hard time when it comes to like not feeling emasculated by women. And so the way that they seek to stabilize or regulate themselves or even regulate their emotions, they can lash out. And a lot of times, you know, there's a very violent predisposition towards women. Another really good example of this would be Chris Brown. He's another Cancer Mars native. Okay. Now on the flip side, this could also produce a womanizer. And to be fair with him also having cancer on the South Node, all this cancer loaded energy, right? Moon, Mars, Venus, Chiron. Uh, academics could also have a lot of those womanizer kind of ways, right? A man who runs through women, 
But once again, with his moon and Venus in opposition to Neptune, that could spell out issues with intimacy. Yeah, you may have women around, but y'all are not close. He doesn't have any really close connection with these women. Um, and he may want a woman where he can just kind of view her as some type of a sex toy or doll or somebody he can put up and put down at his disposal whenever he wants to. Hence that moon, Neptune, and even Uranus opposition. Now, something else that I thought was really interesting with his Mars and Cancer, academics always talks about the fact that he has guns at his house. So, you know, Mars and Cancer could produce a desire to want to defend the home. And because Mars quite literally rules guns, weaponry, you know, stockpiling guns in your crib is very on brand for him. And when you think about his rise to fame, him being what he is now, because at some point he was just a dude that everybody referred to as being in his mom's basement. Very cancer south node, very cancer moon behavior. Um, spending a lot of time in your home. But with the, once again, moon in opposition to Neptune and Uranus and Capricorn, that could also deal with him isolating himself there. So it's also been very well known that academics will have a lot of opinions on the safety of his home, but people don't see him out at events. And, you know, to also be fair and to speak to the way that Capricorn on the North Node can manifest, especially for someone who um, has a lot of like career aspirations and things like that, which is very on brand for Capricorn North Node. His Neptune and Uranus opposing his moon like that could also make it to where he's like an industry outsider. So, and that's something else I thought was really interesting, even observing his career and why he does not, academics does not get along with traditional heavy hitters and media. You know, he has an ongoing beef with, um, you know, I guess it's kind of a beef or maybe it's a love and hate relationship with Joe Budden. And, you know, Joe Budden is definitely corporate when it comes to like podcasting and industry politics and stuff like that. And this lifetime academics is supposed to be someone who has to respect like uh, elders and people who've come before him, which he's had a hard time doing. But that's a different video for a different day. But it, this opposition could also suggest where academics is lonely. And that's the point that I'm trying to make here from a career standpoint, and even in his personal life. Remember, cancer also rules uh, our personal lives, right? This is a man who could be very, very lonely. I would even argue that the friends he may have around him uh, with Venus in opposition to Uranus may not really be his real friends. These could be people who are just taking advantage or capitalizing off of what he has to offer. And he is has admitted himself that at a certain point in his life, he was the type of person who would have a lot of people in his home because he was the rich nigga amongst all of his friends and whatever. And he has to be really careful with that, which kind of segues into the current issue because with cancer on the South, no, there's a lot of karmic debt tied to your home. A lot of karmic debt in his case for who you have in your home, because he has that Venus moon conjunction too. Um, and with, Venus and the moon in opposition opposition to Neptune, that lays the framework for scandalous shit happening in his home. Like um, even situations where somebody is stealing from him. He even admitted himself uh, that he had an ex-girlfriend who stole $500,000 from him. That's very Venus and moon in opposition to Neptune, right? Where she's taking money from him over time because he keeps his cash in a safe, apparently. And I thought this was interesting because DJ Academics is a Taurus son. He has his son forming a semi-square to that Venus and Cancer. And that is an aspect that can produce um, a person who has a very stubborn mindset when it comes to money and stockpiling resources. So quite literally, in this case, it manifested in him keeping money, hoarding loads of cash in his home. But this could also deal with a person who stockpiles food. And a nigga look like he uh, smuggles pickles under his tongue. Okay, so I mean, that checks out as well. This semi-square could also point to where his self-esteem is tied into how well he's able to provide what he's able to give to a woman. Uh, but that could also make him super closed minded or even just really conservative in the relationship he has with women and his expectations of women. So these are the men who 
need the wifey. I'm a cook for you, treat you like a baby type. Not to mention as a Cancer South note, once again, and with that moon Chiron conjunction, even moon can join the Venus in Cancer. Either he can have a exceptionally close relationship with his mother. And on one hand, this could be all cool and fine and dandy, but this could also even produce a mama's boy or somebody who's just used to being coddled. And that's honestly a lot of that Cancer South Node residue. Being coddled, being uh, expected for everyone to treat you that way, okay? When in this lifetime as a Capricorn North Node, these chart holders tend to learn in really harsh ways that nothing exceptional is going to happen when it comes to you in terms of what's expected of you in reality. Like you have to adhere to reality. You have to adhere to systems. You have to adhere to doing things the way that everyone else would. And a lot of times there's a lot of hard work involved, a lot of patience. And what works in his favor is that he does have Neptune and Uranus in conjunction to the North Node, which can give him very lucky breaks, especially as it pertains to his career. Um, Uranus and Capricorn conjoined to that North Node is absolutely responsible for him being this huge pillar on the Internet and being this huge Internet figure. I would even argue Neptune in there, too. You know, so that's great. And that branches out into a lot of other things that work for him. But he still has to learn how to leverage his success with his personal life. Hence, the dichotomy of that good old Cancer South Node versus Capricorn on the North Node. Now, some Capricorn South Nodes um, tend to have that same struggle, personal life versus professional life, whatever the case may be. But I would argue that DJ Academics is hella lonely. Okay, and a lot of these incels are, but in his case, this you really just can't make this shit up, especially with his moon in opposition to Uranus and Neptune and Capricorn. That could even just deal with him being like, even like a, a, a simp when it comes to women, but once again, overcompensating and using a lot of different things to like project onto the women around him. And where he really could have been just, Somebody who could have been weird and outside of this theme of that outsider energy comes across really strong with this multiple planet opposition. And he may have been felt or may felt to be alienated, not even just when it came to women, maybe even when it came to his culture and his heritage, because he is from Jamaica. And cancer is one of those signs that deals with home, the homeland. So when these people are uprooted, um, especially with the moon in opposition to Uranus and Neptune, they can oftentimes have a hard time adjusting, you know, where he could have felt inferior, been made to feel inferior or like, once again, like that weird kid, the weird immigrant kid or the weird whatever. Not to mention, he also has his Mars, once again, in conjunction to Chiron and Cancer, which could also produce issues with one's sexuality or even issues with his peen peen. Honestly, this gives small penis. I'm not just, it's just what it is. Mars and Cancer can join the Chiron, can produce a small penis or somebody who has a lot of emotional hangups or with something, I'm, in, in all seriousness, he could have sustained some sort of injury, some sort of trauma. If you get where I'm going with this, that could have really impacted, like I said, his sexuality or, you know, how he feels about himself and his own manhood. I mean, and it, it just is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. So you can slice it and dice it however you would like, okay? Um, his moon in opposition to Neptune could also deal with him having women in his home and where he violates their boundaries, okay? Uh, having a lot of women in his home at any given time is very much a testament to his moon, Venus conjunction and cancer in that cancer south note. Once again, lots of karma tied to his home and women. Um, and with the moon in conjunction to Venus, he may be the type to want to keep a lot of women around. Or like if he has a girlfriend, they'll play house. She'll probably move in with him or stay with him for long periods at a time before he ends up what kicking her out with moon in opposition to Uranus. <laughs> or, you know, with his moon in opposition to Neptune, maybe she running, running away, running out. You know, but once again, these connections that he's that he's forming with people, they're not long lasting. Also, you can look at his moon 
um, in opposition to Neptune, even Uranus and Capricorn as being reflective of his home getting raided um, by the government. And that's another karma issue that a lot of Capricorns can run, Capricorn North nodes can run into if they're not careful. OK, if you're involved in scandalous shit, hence his Neptune North Node conjunction, because Capricorn can deal with the authorities, you know, so having his home raided, things taken out of his home. So he needs to tread very carefully. Um, like I said, even with the friends he has around him, you know, the people he has around him at the very least. But I think he, there's a lot of reevaluation that needs to happen um, just with his mindset and in. But I doubt that'll ever happen, I'm, just to be honest, because he has that South Node programming. It's, it's ingrained so deep with all of this cancer energy, especially with Chiron there. In real life, I just don't see a person changing that, you know, on their own, not voluntarily. Uh, he also has the asteroid Psyche, which deals with childhood trauma, mental illness, uh, psychological wounds. He has it at the sixth degree of cancer. Once again, cancer ruling women, issues with women. And, and this psyche in his chart is forming a con is running contra parallel to Neptune. So reinforcing him, projecting those issues onto women. You literally can't make this shit up. Also, I want to point out too, academics is always running with a bottle of Henny in his hand. And I would argue that the involvement of alcohol and you know other drugs or whatever influences can contribute to a, a lot of the chaos and stuff that goes on in his home which can provide some insight onto the most recent situations he's been in the news for um that neptune conjunction to his north node in opposition to the moon that could be him being drunk out of his mind i think he does have substance problems that's a substance issue that's a substance substance problem aspect i should say in astrology the moon in opposition to neptune and i would argue is worse than moon square neptune because oppositions are kind of harder to get a hold of and their effects can be extreme um you know like the, the drunk who um you know like gets behind the wheel and crashes and you know that's how people find out that they're alcoholic because because their behavior becomes so outrageous and progressively worse over time so i'm not saying that that's happened to him in particular but that's the type of energy his chart holds especially with neptune in opposition to the moon or even venus um he needs to be careful because there could be women who could claim that they were drugged or they were raped or um you know especially when it comes to being drugged and stuff in his home that's very venus moon in opposition to neptune and I'm going to be real, just based on this, at these aspects in his chart alone, I, could I see that happening? Could I see him being somebody who would do that? I could see that happening. And if it's not him, to be just to be fair, it could be the people around him once again. But um, yeah, that's, that's scandal. Also, with Neptune in opposition to his moon and Venus, that could be the women he's dealing with knowing all his secrets and airing him out. You know, now it, that could also deal with him being lied on too. But honestly, I see, I, I see all angles here. I see all angles here. So it just, you know, the, this Neptune contact is, is really kicking his ass too and putting him in some weird predicaments. He also talked about how he had cameras in his home. Um, and this is how he discovered the young woman was getting G by his friends. Um, that's also symbolic of that Neptune and Capricorn in opposition to the moon and Venus, but honestly, these are also peeping time aspects where like, and that ties back into being somebody who violates boundaries where you can violate a woman's personal space. Like it gives me like, I set up cameras in the bathroom and watch, be watching women and people all over the place. You know, it just, it gets at a certain point, I see where it started off being about security, especially with Neptune um, and Uranus and, and Capricorn, you know, like surveilling his home, always wanting surveillance footage and it coming from like a protection standpoint, but because it's opposing his moon and Venus, this is where things could get messy. This is where things can get kind of weird. You know, he, DJ Academics gives me weird nigga energy. And once again, I'm not surprised because he has that incel mentality. You know, it's weird. It's, it's some, some off, he throw it off, bro. Like, is is weird and he's gonna he's gonna create because he's clinging on to his south node programming 
with women. He has such a hard time removing, you know, a lot of his own personal experiences and past experiences with women. What's going to happen is all it's going to do is propel him towards his North Node, but in a way where it's like he's constantly traumatizing and re-traumatizing himself. And it's only going to make him even more bitter and even more hateful when it comes to women or somebody who can just be lonely. That's Capricorn on the North Node. Fuck around and be a lonely ass nigga, even if you can't afford to have women around you. And with his moon in conjunction to Venus and Cancer, I'm pretty sure he does take care of, of women. Um, now, it could be white women, which is also... <laughs> Definitely a testament to his moon and Venus and Cancer opposing Uranus and Capricorn. Issues with race, colorism, but once again, it's a different story for a different day. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you know, it's just, it's, it's kind of weird. It's strange. I'm going to go ahead and end the video on that note because I think that kind of just sums up everything that really should be addressed um, about him, important things anyway. So y'all drop down in the comment section. Let me know what you think about DJ Academics chart. Do you share any of these placements? Do you know anybody who does or similar aspects? Feel free to sound off in the comment section with your experiences. And I will catch y'all in the next video. Love you. Bye.